Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another Factions Let's Play episode. And guys, today we're not going to have a full-blown episode of building and uh, deciding, but I'm kind of just updating you guys on exactly what it is I am doing. Now, if you guys can take a quick look, the tab list is empty because the server is still whitelisted, but we are still on pvp.thearchon.net and we are actually on factions black and you guys might be thinking why is he playing on factions black now i know you guys i read all your comments i read everybody's comments for factions and all of the all of your guys's thoughts and comments on uh basically that last video that i posted yesterday but i kind of decided that it, it was kind of a faction decision it was more of a for me and insanity and as well as pello and snicks like we all kind of had a group meeting we had a little group talk and we kind of uh tried to decide whether or not we wanted to stay on green or not or if we wanted to move to a different faction server to kind of try out the other aspects and the other stuff of uh, the Archon just basically um, all the stuff that we're, we're kind of we kind of need to do in order for our, the series to be more fun to be brand new and to try to keep things interesting for you guys and um, honestly speaking guys you guys all wanted me to stay on green because I did have I mean a majority of my fan bases plays on factions green and um, I MCMMO is basically where I started off and it's gonna always be my first love but it's time to start a brand new series well, not really a brand new series, but a brand new faction type of server in order to try to see if, um, basically if, 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 if we're made to be, or if, if an OP faction server is really what it's meant to make out. So basically what I'm telling you guys is I'm going to be playing on factions black on the Archon, but it might be just temporarily. So remember this guys, if you guys are watching this video right now, uh, really quickly, I'm not sure if I will be staying on Factions Black permanently, so keep that in mind. I'm not sure if I'm staying on Factions Black permanently. I just really, really want to give an OP Factions a quick tryout because I, I, I'm going to go over the new features that we added uh, to to basically to the OP faction servers in order to k kind of actually make it an OP faction server to try to make it a little bit more interesting for you hardcore uh, OP faction server players out there. So we're going to give this a try out. I'm not really sure how many episodes will bang out of this factions, uh, this new factions world. But if it does get a little out of hand, like we're not at me and insanity aren't having fun with it. The raids are not, uh, the raids are too easy or the raids are too hard. There's just like things of that nature we will end up moving back to factions green so uh during the days guys i will be playing on factions green and then during the night like rec doing during like recording times i will be on factions black to record so make sure if you guys are playing on factions black or if you guys haven't even checked out the faction servers make sure you guys come over here check it out and we'll kind of just see from there so I'm, i really really want to give this server a try out guys just because it's it's new for everybody it's new for all the good stuff and i really just need to give op factions a try out and we'll kind of see what goes from here so hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy the the following content that we'll be putting out in the next couple of weeks and um, factions black should be whitelisted by either Sunday night or early Monday morning and it, it might even be whitelisted before that because I do still have to set up all the regions and stuff if I do F map on like some of the regions are set but I still need to do the final finishing touches to the OP faction servers in order for them to be whitelisted so thank you guys for supporting our reset and all the stuff that you guys have provided for us the past couple days but i am going to go over we're not going to be doing any base building this episode but i will be discussing what is new with the op faction server so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys this uh we have i have access to all the kits as you guys probably know because i am op'd on the server and i really want to show you guys this so kit start uh what the heck kit start this kit is improperly defined contact and administer okay so obviously something is wrong with that kit we got to fix that kit so kit citizen let's look at this first uh, all right so this is the first donation kit kit citizen and it's basically got it looks like it's a very very normal if you guys can take a quick look everything looks fairly normal fairly simple just efficiency for sharpness for that is for the lowest donation kit now imagine this guy's two obsidian stacks sharpness for sword for the lowest donation kit I think that's like the $20 rank and we can just continue on from there so if I do a uh, slash let me do slash clear kit citizen 2 now for kit citizen 2 we get a protection to 
uh, iron set. So that's technically equivalent to a protection one diamond set. And now that is the lowest donation rank. And if you guys kind of see the trend here, what we're going to be doing is uh, the next kit rank is basically, I think it's kit um, knight. So Kit Knight comes with, now we have, we're getting up into the higher enchantments, we're getting more obsidian, more enchanting bottles, we're still at like normal enchanting, sharpness 4, uh, efficiency 3, just all that stuff, so everything is slowly starting to move out. If I do Kit Knight 2 and we look at the diamond armor that we get, now we're, we're, now we're getting uh, iron set, but it's full protection 4. Now as you guys can see, this is going to just continue and continue to go up and we, we also get a uh, chain set over here with protection too and that is only for the second highest now just imagine this guys this is gonna go all the way up let's let's give you guys an example I think the divine rank or the obsidian rank on here is called Emperor so if we do kit Emperor uh, we should be able to get diamond armor now look this is the single kit the first kit one day cooldown protection 15 unbreaking three two stacks of god apples and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten stacks of obsidian for the highest donation rank with protection 15 sharpness 10 looting 3 sharpness 15 fire aspect 2 guys op factions i really really wanted to do these changes earlier but we really just were bogged down by a bunch of changes a bunch of stuff that we needed to do and um Basically, guys, we really wanted to give you guys an OP faction server, something that makes you feel very, very, um, just basically different about OP factions itself. And we, we did this by creating the ability to enchant up to level 15 armor and then the ability to enchant up to level 15 weapons. And then also the kits. The kits are just crazy, guys. Look at this right here. 10 stacks of obsidian just for a single kit and that is a one day kit cooldown and then the kit start comes with like full diamond armor so right off the bat you guys are going to be starting out decked out like everybody's going to be in diamond it's going to be a rare sight to see somebody in like iron armor and i kind of love this idea of op faction i really really wanted to give it a try out and i've been talking to uh, an old trial mod or an old helper of um factions black his name is i prod hard so quick shout outs to you he's he's basically been the one kind of talking with the community on factions black and kind of uh, feeding us the ideas on what exactly it is that we wanted so another feature that it is that we are changing is the obsidian breaker so if you guys probably knew uh, in the OP faction servers the, the TNT we kind of changed it up in the old uh, OP factions we kind of uh, increased the power of the TNT but in in that turn it basically destroyed the cannons that we were are all used to making so what we're gonna be doing for this change before the server is whitelisted is that we're gonna turn the TNT explosion radius back down to vanilla Minecraft level so it'll act like a normal TNT so you guys will be able to make any type of TNT cannon that you want at that any like any server that basically that you know how to make a TNT cannon on it'll be able to be used on here now what is it that's gonna make this server OP if I show you guys uh, what is it called kit Emperor 7 I believe now this is kit emperor seven uh no let me do slash clear kit emperor six let's try six i'm not really sure now this is kit emperor six if you guys see we got 20 creeper eggs and 16 bedrock pieces now you guys are like oh that's gonna make so many bases op we're never gonna be able to break it now here's the catch we're gonna make it so that obsidian blocks or a bedrock blocks like this will take 25 pieces of TNT to blow directly through it and then it will disintegrate so basically if you guys are interested in um, basically making obsidian break or bedrock break it'll take five blasts to break obsidian and then 25 TNT blasts to break bedrock now this might cause some problems with uh, getting into the void and dying that way but we'll kind of try to get around it and try to inform people not to be breaking the very very bottom layer of the world just in order in order to kind of save um, save some space for some people I guess you could say just just so that the server isn't griefed we'll kind of uh, find a way around that and uh, hopefully you guys don't mind too much and uh, yeah that's kind of all I wanted to talk about we're gonna be moving to factions black guys there's already a couple of youtubers on factions Factions white and this factions green is getting really really crowded with youtubers so I'm really really excited to start out this new series if you guys are interested in joining me we will be playing on the factions black server you guys probably are looking around like this looks boring right now but I will be changing up this entire area to look somewhat beautiful 
hopefully if I have time before the whitelist tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching today's Factions Let's Play episode. I kind of just really wanted to inform you guys what my Factions decisions were on the thing. And if you guys don't believe me, you guys can ask Snix, you guys can ask Pello. We all talked about it and we kind of all wanted a new experience. We've been used to MCMMO and obviously we'll still be on MCMMO for like for big parts of the day, but we will also be transferring around and uh, playing on Factions Black to try to find a feel for uh, this this new type of faction server so thank you guys for watching hopefully you guys support our decision this is my factions decision not only mine and they they increased and they influenced me to um, basically to try to move on to a different faction server to kind of uh, let everyone know that we're we're moving around we're seeing if we can conquer every single type of faction server there is so hopefully you guys support our decision and if you guys do make sure you guys smash that like button for me right before the end of this video let's try to hit another three 300 likes at the beginning of this video guys or right, so thank you for watching I hopefully you guys aren't too mad that I am moving to factions black there is still a possibility that I will be moving to factions green so we'll keep you guys updated on that but thank you for watching today's video guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you guys haven't already this is D field and we will see you guys later